Hello everybody. Welcome to this week's video. As you can see, I am again drawing in my sketchbook this week. This is the last week that you'll have to put up with uh, poor lighting on my videos. I finally uh, received my new lighting in the mail. So from now on, we'll have better lighting. Also, uh, I've learned a little bit more about the resolution on my videos and I'll be shooting at a little higher resolution now so uh, maybe they won't be quite as grainy. Anyhow, I'm just learning as I go, trying to figure this all out. I'm getting better at my video editing and uh, that's an interesting path all on its own. So here's the new video. So a little bit about myself as an artist uh, while you watch the video. Uh, I started drawing at a super young age. Uh, I was three or four, I guess everybody really draws at three or four, but I loved it in a way that was different than most of the kids around me. I actually preferred pencils and papers to toys. My parents said that whenever we went someplace, the best way to keep me busy was to give me a piece of paper and a pencil, and I would be happily sitting in the corner drawing pictures. Um, I know that I was influenced a lot by my mom, who loved to draw. And I always found it fascinating when she would sit and draw pictures. And uh, I just really wanted to just do that. I guess that was my influence. I remember when I was uh, five or six, maybe seven, my mother got an art instruction course in the mail. And she started doing these uh, college courses that she would uh, do at home. So she would uh, get the, she got this whole, all these books with uh, courses of different things in them. And, and uh, she would uh, draw the pictures and send them in. They would grade them and send them back. And uh, I don't know how long she kept up with that. It, it, it seemed, I don't think she finished it out. I'm not sure, you know, she had three kids. It was probably real, real, real hard. And, uh, but at about seven, I started taking the books and um, looking at them and I don't. I, I think I was just learning how to read um, at that at that point, so I really couldn't read them. But I could look at the pictures and I could figure out what they were trying to get me to do. So I started, uh, you know, going through the exercises and, and doing them. And I started from the very beginning of the book and kind of worked my way through doing the different exercises and learning about composition and textures and um, just different styles of drawing, pencil drawing versus uh, ink drawing, uh, color, you know, a little stuff. So I think over the next couple of years, I slowly but surely uh, went through all the books so that by the time I was eight or nine, I had kind of put myself through a, almost a college education in art. And by that time, uh, by the time I got done with the books, I could read. So they, they, they started making a lot more sense to me. But I do remember at some point in all the middle of that, I saw a picture of, I'm almost positive, I'm almost positive I remember it being the Mona Lisa. And I made some remark to my mother about that picture, that painting. And she said that it was a famous painting. And I remember thinking, I know about famous people. I watch TV, I know, you know, famous people. But I had never heard of an object being famous. And at that point, by that point, I had, I had decided I wanted to be an artist. Um, and then it dawned on me that, that I could create something that could be famous. And that just really fueled my imagination for the possibilities of what I could do. And I think that that's the point at which that I decided to go in search of a masterpiece. And I think I've been pretty much trying to work towards that all my life. In fact, I know that there's been several times in my life that I told myself I really wasn't drawing pictures so much as I was preparing for the masterpiece. So I'd, uh, at my age, um, almost 60 at this point, I am still seeking that masterpiece. 
and I'm still working towards that masterpiece and I have no idea what it is sometimes I feel like I'm getting close to it sometimes I am so far away from it it's it's not even visible so I just keep working towards it and, and you know we'll see what happens maybe you guys will be there when I reach that point maybe it'll happen here uh, that's what I'm really hoping for anyhow Thank you for watching my video and listening to my story and uh, I will see you again soon. Please like, subscribe, comment, uh, even, even give me uh, insights as to what you would like to see me draw. I would be happy to take some requests. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.